youth innovator whose latest invention, the weather harvester, gave him the chance to be a TED Talk speaker. And that is just the beginning for 17-year-old Raymond Wang. BNN's Paige Ellis spoke with the young entrepreneur who joined us from Vancouver. He explained what his weather harvester invention is and how it works. It's a integrated circuit together working in conjunction with a piezoelectric roof tile. And so basically the principle of these materials is that once uh, precipitation, like for example, rain, hail, or snow impacts the surface of my piezoelectric roof, it actually is able to deform and generate an electrical charge. And by collecting that energy, we're able to successfully convert the energy of the elements into uh, usable electricity to help power the home. That sounds very useful, especially in a city like Vancouver. I understand you were inspired yeah. just by hearing raindrops on your roof. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, so I've always tried to, you know, observe what's going on around me and how to possibly make some things, some crises that are facing our world today better. So one of the shortages we have now is uh, with an energy crisis. And with transitioning to renewable energy, I really wanted to find a way to be able to harness the energy of nature. And although we do already have like hydroelectric dams, um, they're not able to take advantage of the impact energy of rain uh, coming down on the rain, uh, coming down on the, uh, on the surfaces like the floor or the roof. And so I was actually going to sleep on a rainy evening. Um, I was thinking about science fair projects at the time, and I just heard the plop sound of rain coming down on my roof. And I thought, hey, wait a moment. If the sound of rain can make a loud enough sound for me to hear indoors, uh, it definitely has lots of potential energy uh, to be harvested. And so kind of leading on that thought, as well as having recently uh, at the time read about piezoelectric materials in a magazine, I thought, hey, why not combine these two ideas to create something that we could really benefit from. So Raymond, now I understand you are innovating the garbage bin, which I don't think has had an innovation since that little foot stool thing where you hit it and it pops up. So tell me what you're doing with the garbage bin to make it even better. Yeah, so um, basically this was actually inspired uh, a few summers ago where basically I was walking around in my neighborhood and I just smelled that stench of um, garbage bins, out, like the outdoor garbage bins that people put out just rotting away. And I thought, first of all, this is very bothersome to neighbors. Secondly, it, the smell of the garbage means that there are lots of pathogens that could potentially be harmful to our health. And thirdly, all of this rotting smell attracts a lot of pests. So clearly we needed to do something about this sort of problem. And obviously the first thing that comes to mind is generally to have people clean their outdoor, outdoor garbage bins. But this isn't really feasible because of like the health hazards that I talked about. And so in order to tackle this, I designed a automatic self-cleaning and eco-friendly uh, garbage bin that's able to utilize um, utilize green chemicals in order to uh, automatically generate uh, purifying sort of chemicals to clean the inside of garbage bins. Interesting, very interesting indeed. Now, you are also, I understand, working on uh, innovating some sort of aircraft next. That's your next plan, but what else? I mean, at your age, do you have plans to go to university now? What is next for you? Yeah, so I'm thinking of all sorts of uh, possible routes that I can go. I'm mainly interested in pursuing, uh, continuing to pursue my innovations, um, helping to strengthen that as well with uh, university studies and perhaps engineering uh, as well as business because I think it's important to have an idea but it's also important to be able to bring that idea to the market and to let peop other people know about it. Well, I would pay money for something that cleaned out our garbage bin well. <laughs> he sounds like a great kid. He's he got lots going.